Alright, what's up guys? In this video we are going over the basics of installing fonts on the iPad. Uh, two ways to go about this that I'm going to show. One is installing fonts for Adobe and for use of Adobe apps if you have an account. The other is for installing fonts from anywhere else on the internet for use with apps like Vectorinator. So first, Adobe. If you have an Adobe account, then you should get the Adobe Creative Cloud app if you do not have it already. This app is awesome because it houses a lot of other resources like different tutorials and ways to learn. Um, but down at the bottom here, we have the Fonts tab. Um, so from here, I can scroll through and you can see that I've already installed some. You can search for any Adobe font, any font that Adobe has the licensing rights to that you now own. The one that I want to use is called Bebas New. Bebas New is this awesome, awesome font that's used for headlines and stuff. So if I click on that search in the top right and click and just search for Bebas, B-E-B-A-S and search, I've got a number of different kinds of Bebas News that I can download. I'm going to go ahead and click on the name, the, or the main one, the regular one. I have a bunch of different weights of font families of Bebas New. I can download them individually, or I can click that little T up at the top and download all of them. Let's do that. Might take a second for them to load, but once they're installed, I now can use them on any Adobe app on my iPad or iPhone. For instance, if I jump over to Photoshop, uh, I can do this with Premiere, I can do this with any of them. Hopefully Illustrator, once Illustrator comes out on the iPad. Um, if I go to this document that I, you know, just so happen to have created uh, with text in it, I can go ahead and change that text. Now, if everything worked accordingly, let's look for Bebas New. Wow, there it is. Imagine that worked as easy as that. So that is only for Adobe fonts, though. That is only for Adobe apps, though. Let's say that I wanted to use Bebas New on an app like Vectorinator that is not owned by Adobe. First thing that I need to do is I need to download the Vectorinator font from somewhere that's not Adobe. Um, the website defont.com is an awesome website that I've uh, shared with a lot of my other students in graphic design. Here I can just search for a font like Bebas New. They don't have all, you know, they, like they don't have a ton of fonts, but they do have some really good ones. There it is. There's our good old Bebas New. I'm gonna click download, and I'm gonna click download. And now it's on my files on my iPad. So if I go ahead and I'm just going to scroll down a little bit and type in files, uh, and there it is. I'm going to go to my downloads in my files. I'm in browse, not in recents. I don't like being in recent. I like being in browse. Um, downloads, I see babasnew.zip. Zip file is a file that contains other files. So I'm going to click on the zip file, and now I have a Bebas new folder. Inside of that folder, I have the different kinds of files. The most important ones are the TTF or the OTF file, because that's what we're going to use. Now, if I jump over to Vectorinator, this is the opening screen of Vectorinator. If I go over to Settings, I, at the top, I have Font Library. I already have one installed. If I click on the little iCloud option at the top right, it tries to find any files that I have on my iCloud drive. But if I just click on Locations, then I can go to other places like Downloads open that folder, and I'm looking for either the TTF or the OTF. I click on that, it takes a second to install. Now I think Vectornator, I need to close the app and re, like just restart the app. So I'm gonna close that, restart it, open up a file, and Bebas New, if I grab a uh, text box, Bebas New should be an option. Let's go ahead and type something out. Let's open up my style and scroll up. There it is. Done. So two ways. One of just installing Adobe fonts from the Creative Cloud app for use with Adobe apps only. The other is installing TTF or OTF files from anywhere else on the internet and using them for non-Adobe apps. Um, hopes this helps. Thank you for watching.